Standing here with Mark Chipman, the executive chairman of True North Sports and Entertainment and also of the Winnipeg Jets. Mark, I have to believe that this is a lifelong dream of you to be on Sports Talk today. <laughs> yeah, we were just driving over here thinking, wow. Uh, <laughs> what a moment, right? What a moment this could be. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was such a scene last April uh, with the Winnipeg Jets made the playoffs for the first time in 19 years. How do you build off of that this season? How do you like the direction of your team? Well, I think it's been a work in progress for four years now, and uh, that was a good step forward for our organization and our group last spring. Uh, I think, you know, uh, it was gratifying in some respects, but in others, you know, I think a lot of us felt that, um, and most importantly, our players felt that, you know, we, we, we pro probably could have had a, a little bit longer run at it. So I know there's a lot of eagerness uh, amongst our entire group just to get back at it. Throughout that uh, playoff run and when you guys did clinch a playoff spot and you had those four games back in Winnipeg, the whiteout was huge, obviously. You guys had a ton of national coverage around the league, really, and even around the world. Do you guys feel that spotlight when that's actually happening? Yeah, I, I, I do. It makes me feel like uh, a fan more than anything. You know, I was, uh, I was a fan uh, many, many years ago when, when that whiteout got rolling. So I think we all, as just citizens of this community, take a sense of pride in it. And, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be, it would be amped up, but I had, you know, it was incredible. I, I don't think anybody fully expected how much energy there was going to be in the building. And, uh, you know, our players feed off of it for sure. Our organization feels a sense of responsibility for it as well. And uh, I think it just, it's, it's sort of, uh, uh, you know, it crystallizes the fact that our, this team belongs to our community and our fans are, are very, 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 very committed and passionate about, uh, about our place in the National Hockey League. For sure. Before that playoff appearance back in March, us here at Shaw TV did a story on Project 11, which is an education plan for youth in Manitoba being implemented in schools across the city and the province. Uh, how important are initiatives like that to your foundation? Well, they're, they're critical. I mean, there's so many good causes and there's so many ways that organizations like ourselves can, uh, can engage the community. That one had real particular meaning to us because of, uh, of Rick and, uh, you know, and the, and the struggles he had with, uh, with depression and, uh, and the ultimate loss of his life. So it was, it was really an easy one for us to rally around. Craig Heisinger was very, very uh, involved in Rick's life in, the last, in his last few years. And, and so it was also a, a way we thought uh, to support uh, Zinger and, and all of his efforts. Uh, and, uh, you know, and it's unfortunately, it's an illness that's still uh, stigmatized and it ought not to be. And so, you know, if we can play a small role and, and um, in bringing awareness to it and and, uh, and bringing some skills to kids uh, to help uh, navigate it, then it's something we're just very proud to be involved in. Absolutely. Uh, last question, out of curiosity, when the anthem is being sung at your home games, are you shouting True North? No, I don't. Uh, I'm up in the press box, so that wouldn't be. Uh, you got to be uh, professional. Yeah, it wouldn't be okay. appropriate. But I tell you what, it, you know, it's a really cool story how it all started. Uh, you know, from one individual who's a real passionate fan and. I remember the first time I heard it, it was kind of faint yep. in the 300 level of the building and it built and built and, and uh, it never gets old. Like it makes the hair stand up on my arms every time I hear it. Something we sure don't take for granted and uh, uh, we're, you know, very, very honored by. Thank you very much for your time today, Mark. We my, appreciate it. My pleasure.